So let's have a solution to example 9. <coughs> For the three hinge arc shown, the indicated values are wind pressure coefficients. The frames are separated 6 meters apart. The wind pressure is found to be 1.9 kilopascals. Coming from the left side, determine the horizontal reaction at A, the vertical reaction at A, the horizontal reaction at B. So remember that we have interior three hinge arc and they are separated six meters apart. So perpendicular to the board or the width that should be considered is six meters. And we have this pressure coefficients, positive pressure coefficients means pressure and negative means action. So this is the solution first uh, for the uniform load for AB is equal to wind pressure coefficient 0.8 times pressure times width perpendicular to the board with 6. So that's the pressure distribution, call that WAB. This is also pressure towards PC. WBC, then suction for CD away, and suction also for DE away, WDE. So for the values, we have WAB equals 0.8 in pressure coefficient, the pressure 1.9, and times 6. 6 is the width perpendicular to the board, so that's why you get 9.12 kilonewton per meter. And for DC is 0.5 times 1.9 times 1.9 times 6, so 5.7 kilonewton per meter. For CD, this is suction 0.4 times 1.9 times 6 for 56. Then finally for DE, 0.3 times 1.9 times 3.42 kilonewton per meter. So for the forces, so let's resolve automatically. Let's call that F1. 54.72 to get 54.72 it acts as a centroid of this rectangle so the height is 6 so therefore that's 3 that's 3 also from B so 9.12 times times 6 is 54.72 for WBC horizontal is 5.7 times 2 because this is 2 rightward is 11.4 and of course that's the centroid one meter from b also one meter from c 11.4 then we have vertical load which is downward because this is pressure so 5.7 times 5 vertical project horizontal projection rather 28.8 for cd we have away or rightward because it is vacuum or away so 4.56 times 2 is 9.12 rightward, then upward 4.56 times horizontal projection 5 is equal to 22.8 kilonewtons. And finally, we have 3.42 times 6, so away, that's 20.52 kilonewtons. So reactions. Call that H A vertical reaction at A. Assume downward because most of the loads are rightward, and we also have upward. So at B e, leftward vertical a horizontal. Then for vertical reaction upward. So first we can solve vertical reaction here. If we sum up moment about one. Support so A can solve B, B sub E, and if we sum up moment above A, we can solve for B sub E. So, considering the entire uh, whole system summation moment about A equals 0 to solve for vertical reaction at E. So, B sub E times 10 plus uh, 22.8 times 7.5 because this is 2.5 plus 5. 22.8 times 7.5 and the rest are clockwise 
these are the only two terms which are counterclockwise so equals beginning with 54.72 times 3 then plus 11.4 times 6 plus 1 7 then this is also clockwise 28.5 times 2.5 then plus 9.12 times 7 and plus 20.52 times 3 so I think so this is very clear solution so B sub E equal to 26.96 kN and that's upward Next, we consider portion uh, CDE to solve for horizontal reaction at E by summing up moment about C because this is a three hinge arc. So, considering clockwise positive, initial moment about C equals zero. So, HE times E and equals the rest is counterclockwise beginning with 20.52 3 plus 2 is 5 the moment arm is 5 plus 9.12 times 1 plus 22.8 times 2.5 plus uh, 9.12 times 1 and plus b sub e which is 26.96 times 5. So solving for h sub e, h sub e is 37.94 kN. The only uh, unknown left is h a. So let's consider portion a, b, c, whole, rather whole system, summation forces, summation moment about e equals 0 to solve for b a. So B sub A times 10, that's counterclockwise, plus 28.5 times 7.5, 5 plus 2.5, so that's counterclockwise. Then the rest is clockwise. So beginning with 54.72 times 3, then 11.4 times 7, then plus... 9.12 times 7 plus 22.8 times 2.5 plus 20.52 times 3. So solving for V sub A, V sub A is 21.26 kN. Then considering ABC, summation moment about C equals 0. So clockwise positive. So we have HA times 8. So A times A These are all counterclockwise. So equals 54.72 times 3 plus 2, so 5, plus 11.4 times 1, plus 28.8 times 2.5, plus B sub E, which is B sub E. Not 20, sorry, B sub A. 21.26 times 5. So solving for HA, HA is equal to 57.82 kN. So it's your job to check summation forces horizontal should be 0. So I will leave the checking for you. Summation forces horizontal, summation forces vertical must always be 0.